to the Hockey's End TV show. My name's Chris Nadeau. This is my bro, Abe. How's she going? Welcome to episode 32. We got the Hockey's End Hot Stove Edition here today. That is toasty. Nice little fire going today. A little chilly outside, so we thought we'd do it by the fire today. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks to Red Whale, we're having some nice warm Thanksgiving, leftover Thanksgiving coffee uh, that we had from uh, Thanksgiving, so thank you again. Yep. Very tasty. Um, just uh, before we get into today's episode, uh, thanks to everyone that commented on the last episode. Uh, you know, we had the face-off uh, between John Tavares and uh, Michael Delzato, who would be the Rookie of the Year. Uh, a lot of comments out there, a lot of people picked Tavares in our comment feeds. Uh, but I guess the NHL thought Delzato was the number one because they uh, picked him as October Rookie uh, of the Month for the month of October. So uh, we'll see still how that pans out. Still, still very both early. Both teams are playing well now, so that's good for uh, both those guys, I think. Yeah, no, and uh, a lot of people threw out some other ones. I know Victor Hagman was thrown out by Jason House on uh, Facebook. Also, uh, another, another fella threw out Ryan O'Reilly from uh, Colorado, so lots of great rookies out there. Um, so leading in today's episode, we got back to the old uh, ask, ask you guys what you thought we should talk about. And by uh, pretty much a landslide, everybody wanted us to talk about uh, the hot teams out there and if they will sustain their current start. And the three teams we're going to talk about are either the Avalanche, uh, the Sabres, and the Kings. The Kings, the LA Kings, <laughs> kingscast.net. Hey, check them out, guys, if you haven't. It's a great website. Uh, huge How's Kings that, fans. That's going? Right now, the Kings, uh, to kind of give you a little context, the Kings, uh, friends of ours from kingscast.net, had a bet with myself. Uh, they predicted the Kings would get into the playoffs. I predicted the Oilers. Right now, Kingscast is, is leading because the Kings are looking pretty good right now. They're in a playoff position. The Oilers have now dropped out. Uh, I picked the Kings, too. That, you picked the Kings, too. So that's, you know what, like you said, still it's still early, that's right? right? Yeah. Anyway, the loser of the bet has to do a few shots, depending on the point differential there between the two teams at the end of the year. So come on, Oilers. Anyway, to today's episode. Who will sustain their start that they've had thus far? Avalanche, Sabres, or Kings? Over to you, sir. Over to me. Yeah. Um, Pretty amazing that they're all off to great starts. Uh, I'll just give a quick rundown maybe of each team. And sure. Pick who I think is going to yeah. hang on or sustain that uh, that point total for the rest of the way. Yeah. Uh, the Avalanche, um, good buddy of mine, Neil Hawker, big fan of the hockey's end. Yeah. Uh, he said I, w I wasn't allowed to put them down today. so He uh, won the uh, HD Flip and right. contest. Yeah. I'll have to get him to record some stuff yeah. and send it in yeah. with the, the abs there. But in, uh, in all seriousness, I don't think they can sustain what they've done. Uh, at the start of the year, uh, I think they're a good young team. I think they have a great goalie. Yeah. Uh, he won Goalie of the Month, I think, for yeah. and Player of the Month yeah. for the NHL. One or the other, I know. The Matrix. Uh, Coyotes had their goalie up there too. But yeah. anyway, I think they will. I think they'll have a good year. I think they might fade back a little bit. They won't keep up the pace, so they won't be able to sustain that. I think they'll hang in there, and they'll probably maybe finish around the middle of the pack for the playoffs. Uh, yeah. I know we're getting down the road there quite a bit, but that's my prediction for them. Uh, the Kings, I'm pushing for them to get in there and like hopefully they finish as high as they can. So you have to do as many shots as you yeah. have to. All right. But uh, I don't know if they can keep it up either. I mean, I haven't seen them play too much, but uh, I think they're going to probably fade down a little bit also. Maybe finish around that middle of the pack with the Avalanche. Uh, the Sabres, I think, are the ones that are going to be able to sustain it. Uh, they've got Ryan Miller. He's playing well in net. They've got, you know, Lindy Ruff coaching. He's been there many times. He knows how to lead them. Yeah. Uh, last year they just had some injuries that's probably why they faded off when Miller got hurt so I'm going to go with the Sabres unfortunately because they're in the Bruins division but yeah. I think they're the ones that can uh, they're the ones that can sustain it at this point I think yeah well um, I kind of agree with you uh, but I'll throw in a few of my points uh, I'm with you on the Sabres I don't know if they'll even be able to sustain what they have going on but I think they'll be able to stay, sustain enough to make the playoffs uh, we didn't pick them actually, uh, you or I, in our playoff prediction uh, so, at the start yeah. of the year. Missed that one. Yeah, so, uh, but you know, Miller, if he's healthy, he's probably the best goal in the league right now. And like you mentioned, Lindy Ruff, and they got a well balanced team all over, up front, back end, everything. So I'm with you in the Sabres. Um, as far as the other teams, uh, the Colorado Avalanche. I think they're playing lights out right now, and I think they're really young. But I think it's going to come to a crashing halt. Personally, I think. I, I actually mentioned to Neil, and I think 
eventually they might be lucky to win 35 games this year. Personally, that's me. That's my thoughts. So I don't he's think not like that. he's not going to like that. But I don't think they can sustain. Obviously, no one could sustain the pace they're on. But I don't think they're even going to make the playoffs. Um, and then as far as the uh, L.A. Kings, I, I love the Kings. I love Kopitar, what he's doing. Um, you Smith, know, Ryan Smith. Ryan Smith, Captain Canada, off to a hot start. But once again, I don't think the Kings can sustain it. And they're off to a great start as well. I think, like I've always thought, they're going to be battling for one of those last playoff spots. I'm hoping they don't get in so I don't have to drink a lot of Jägermeister. But Ryan Smith can't sustain the start he's had. Like, he's not going to score 100 points, I don't think. If he does, I'll be shocked. Um, he might, at best, get 60 points, I think. So, um, but the Kings look good. Not going not gonna to go against that right there. So I like what they're doing. And I know next year I definitely would slot them in as a, like a contender for sure next year once I get a year experience. Anyway, um, that's kind of what we think. I guess we could have threw Phoenix in there potentially. They're yeah, off to a pretty hot start. Right now, yeah, we take it in Boston. Yeah, <laughs> where our teams are. Hopefully they don't sustain their start. <laughs> Montreal could get a lot worse. I don't know. So it's not looking real good on the fence there for them. And the Bruins are having trouble scoring goals. So uh, hopefully our teams go the other direction. They play each other. Thursday night. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow. Yeah. So it's hard to believe. Uh, it's almost been a year since our first episode, actually. Because yeah. our, our first couple, because we talked about the Bruins and Habs, our favorite moments. And if you haven't seen, we'll link that up, actually. That's a good one to show. That was mm -hmm. a pretty good little episode. Yeah. Might have to do a new one of those. Um, anyway, so that's, uh, that's our thoughts on who will sustain their start this year. Love to hear yours. Um, we're working on the new Hockey Zen website, hopefully to have it, uh, we had a little meeting of the minds here before this episode, and hopefully hope to get things ramped up here, <clears throat> out here very shortly, so, should be fun, thanks for watching, keep your stick on the ice. Take care everybody.